So I'd like to talk a little bit about the notion of what I would call playing in between the cracks. And this would be where you're playing with a feel that is not straight and not swung, but it's somewhere in between. And I think that it's paramount to really understand this to some degree when you're playing a lot of these grooves, especially some of the Zig stuff, especially some of the Clyde and some of the Jabo stuff. A lot of our favorite groove drummers had this element in their playing because they grew up listening to swung music. Everything that they heard growing up was either big band, bebop, even the R&B stuff, the early R&B stuff, jump swing that all kind of morphed into early rock and roll. Even early rock and roll was all based off of a swing type of groove. There was no such thing as straight eighth notes or hi-hats on the drum set until really the 60s, you know, with the advent of Bossa Nova and the Beatles. And things really kind of started straightening it out at that point. And, you know, unfortunately for us nowadays, we've all lived through a very unfortunate period of time in music where things got straightened out and computerized and quantized to the nth degree to where nowadays we have to go back and we really kind of have to readdress this.